What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today we are back in Spin Tires taking a look at another mod. Now this is a, I believe it's a 99? No, no, I think it's an 01. I'm pretty sure it's an 01. It doesn't really matter since it's all the same generation, but um, 01 Ram 1500. Now it's got a lot of um, stuff done to it, obviously. Um, you have a little bit of a little bit of options as far as what you can change. You can change the uh, wheels and tires. You have a couple of functional items like the um, like the toolbox which I have in the back now which has also got a fuel tank or a, well a little bit of an extended fuel tank. Really a gas can I should say. And um, since I had to wipe the game again because it was getting really clogged up with all the mods I had on it, um, I decided to use one of the standard maps because honestly the standard maps aren't terrible they really aren't terrible so what I'm gonna do like I said is I'm gonna go ahead and run this thing through a uh, just kind of through a no damage challenge and hopefully we can get a little bit of uh, a little bit of a realistic analysis or somewhat of a realistic analysis of what it's like so we will just run you through some of the options real quick we've got our tractor tires we've got our all-terrain tires and we've got our Kamaz wheels and tires which turns it into a dually basically I don't really want the Kamaz wheels and tires honestly um, and the tractor tires just look, jeez, what the hell, come on, there we go. The tractor tires just look really goofy to me, so I'm going to go with the all-terrain tires, I think they're a nice balance. So, and actually I've started playing with the keyboard because there's something kind of nice about it. It's different, but it's not different in a bad way. It's not like, oh, it's absolutely terrible, you know, like, it, it's not, it's nothing like that. It's, there's something about it about, you know, having really total control over the game, whereas with a controller... You've got control of some features, but you actually, but for a lot of features, you have to reach over to the keyboard and, you know, kind of mess with something on the keyboard. But now, with when actually, when you're actually using the keyboard, it does take a little while to get used to just because of the fact that everything is in a different place. And you kind of feel, you kind of feel completely out of the loop because you don't know where any of the controls are in the beginning. But once you start actually trying it a little bit, it's actually not bad because you have full access to the mouse. And you can just look around the vehicle really dynamically, just kind of all the time. I actually really, really like it. I like the controller as well. The controller is a little bit more fluid because you can fluctuate speed and everything a lot better. And you have more uh, more pressure control on the triggers and stuff like that. But playing with the keyboard in spin tires definitely has its advantages. Now, this truck has a really low, uh, low gear, kind of like a crawler gear. But if I kick it up into high, it definitely picks up quite a bit. Now, since this is a no damage challenge, obviously we're not going to be in high very much, but we will be in high as far as like just crawling through mud sections and stuff like that, um, just so it can kind of sling a little bit of mud all over the place. Come on! There we go. Oh, come on. Yeah, they're getting gear. <laughs> I was like, drop it back down. And you really don't have to have the diff lock on all the time. The all-wheel drive system in this thing is pretty good uh, overall. It's got a decent bit of ground clearance, too. There are a couple of things that'll uh, that'll screw it up. Like if you land, obviously, like if you land on any kind of like logs or anything like that, yeah, it's gonna screw you up. But eh, it'll screw you up in a lot of other vehicles too. So it's not really, it's not really exclusive to this, you know, to this truck. Take it, uh, take it back just a little bit. I'm trying not to. Again, this is somewhat of a no damage challenge. We're trying not to damage it. Somewhat trying anyway. Now, for some reason, this particular mud hole on this map is one that you never really go through if you're playing the map objectively, but it's really cool because it's it's realistic. It's a nice realistic representation of a mud hole that you, I guess you might find. Just kind of get a nice and slow approach and then power out of it. It's very simple, and this thing really does a good job of getting through it, but it's really enjoyable because, again, it's got that little bit of a realistic touch to it, and I always like to... I always like for mods to add a few realistic touches in spin tires because it makes them well, it makes them a little bit more believable and to me it makes them a little bit more fun to, to, to use as well. A little bit more fun to play. And again with the mouse you can get all these dynamic camera angles and be constantly looking around whereas you couldn't with the, with the controller. I mean you could but you definitely didn't have the same kind of range of adjustability. Now mm, you, we're gonna go right. I mean, going left, you just really head back into the creek. There's not much you can do about that. I kind of like like using this mod, though, because it's something that you would see... Like, realistically, this is something you would see um, in this situation more often than, say, an AMG 6x6. I mean, yeah, an AMG 6x6 is awesome, and it's awesome to use vehicles like that, but at the same time, 
using something like this is cool too because it's re because it's a very realistic use of a vehicle like this. It's got realistic modifications and you're putting those realistic modifications to a realistic use. Now, from what I from what I know as far as like from my experience, this is the best spot for a river crossing right here. Like as far as this particular river, it's not deep at all. You can just kind of cross right over it. This next part's a bit tricky though. If you enter it at the wrong angle, you will uh, get a dangerous water level warning. Not right there though. I was expecting to at least get a little bit of a warning. I didn't last, well, I did last time. The last time I went through there, I got a ton of warnings. I actually took like 44 damage the last time I went through there just for uh, just for submerging the front end of the truck, but not this time. Get back up in the high for a little bit. I'm trying not to hit anything. I'm mean, just giving little light throttle applications, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy while we're in high. I'm actually going to kick it back. If I can get it in gear, there we go. Since I'm using the mouse again and not the controller, um, shifting can be a little bit trickier with the mouse than it can with the controller. The controller, you just kind of pop it right into gear. With the mouse, you kind of have to hunt for gears a little bit. They flock back off since we're out on the pavement. Don't want to damage it at all because that will actually damage it. If you've got the diff lock on and you're out on the pavement, that can cause damage. And it is, it is damage that they count in spin tires. So we definitely want to be aware of that. Although, since we are out on the, since we are out on the pavement, we can kick it up into, um, kick it up into auto. Ooh, counter steer, counter steer and brake. I, I was not wanting to go off into the rocks and roll or hit a tree or something like that. Not interested in that at all. This thing is actually a lot quicker though than you might expect. It's a five-speed, and it does it does move. It moves quite a bit. Okay. Oop. And I was like, no way. Nope, 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 nope. Actually, where are we on the map? Just realized that. I don't even realize. I don't even know where I am at this point. Oh, okay. We're down here. There's actually there's a cloaking point over here, which we might be able to see if we can get to. Huh? It provide a challenge for sure. To go along with the no damage challenge, especially especially if you're trying to do some exploration while while also doing a no damage challenge at the same time, that always makes a no damage challenge more interesting. Especially if you have to go through dense woods. There we go got to be really careful not to plow into a tree. If you do that, your no damage challenge is ruined. These small trees shouldn't be an issue. We should be able to go through at least a couple of them without any issues at all. Okay, I was checking to see if it was a steep gradient. It wasn't that bad. too bad okay so we've got that wow that entire area discovered now hot, uh, what route do we want to take to get out of here that's the thing we've gone all the way out here in the wilderness and now we need to figure out some way to get out Forward. Roll it forward very carefully. I don't know. Let's go. I don't know. Let's go left. I'm just guessing. Let's go left. We really have no objective right now with this truck. So other than to you know to off road to continue our movement while uh, while staying completely clean with the vehicle, like you know no damage. So, we can really go wherever we want. We don't, we don't really have to follow any kind of specific route. Mm, we'll stick... Yeah, we'll stick with this direction, I think. Ooh, 
there we go. Wow, okay. This got us into a little bit trickier of a situation than I was wanting for a no damage challenge, for sure. No, I don't want to climb a tree, thank you very much. Just to get back in low. Now, where are you going? Nope, nope, it wants to climb the tree again. I honestly think there's very little chance of it fitting through here, but it's at least worth a try, or a couple of tries. No, it's not gonna do it. It's not gonna do it, and I'm really glad that we haven't actually, haven't actually gotten any damage at this point. I'm surprised beyond anything. damage? Sweet, no damage. Wow. A little bit of a mud area to deal with. We got that. No problem. Nope, no. <laughs> if I stall it too, that's that'll give us that'll give us damage for sure. And that would be a really dumb way to get damaged. Tell you what, for this next section, we're sticking it back in low. We'll go near, probably more near the edge, I think. Not too bad. I mean, this thing is, I've been throwing a lot of challenges at it, especially for a no damage challenge. And it's been tackling them really well. I'm impressed. I should try it on some more difficult maps. I should definitely install another map and try it there. I should install the map that I did again. Um, install the map again that I did with the 6x6. Because the 6x6, that was a really tricky map. And I feel like this thing would... It would probably do pretty well, actually. It would probably be pretty well suited to it. Oh, come on. Come on. Ooh, dangerous water level. Come on. Okay, you know what? Enough of that. Power! Yes! There we go. Ooh, a little bit. Oh, not bad. Come on, then. Come on. Sometimes it's got a little bit of a... It's got a little bit of a delay, but... Once you get past that, like that, there you go. Then you're good. You downshift it. And honestly, I can I can completely say that if you want a realistic, um, realistic, well-made mod for spin tires, this is definitely one you should take a look at. The link will be in the description box below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.